it's beer speaking it's the 22nd of march 2016 time is about eight o'clock gmt time when i made this video clip in my write-up i said we're going away for a week or so and let me tell you i can't wait i haven't been away for quite a while and um yeah we're going to some of the most stunning places here in south africa remote but awesome let's have a look at euro index four hour chart Last week we closed 16 pips higher, the 4 hour tells us too long, the daily tells us too long. So if we honor that, we stick on a 4 hour chart, we flip from the bottom of last week to the high we made, then we've got a zone starting at 99.53, coming down to 98.99. Areas where I will keep my eye on, 99.53, that is where we have the weekly main pivot point, and this 55 EMA at 99.12 for good support areas to go long again possible profit take areas back up here at 100.01 that is also the weekly pivot point where I will relook really to take a counter short if this 55 EMA break for some reason next line in the sand for me to look for longs will be this 200 EMA at 98.73 and that long I will look for profit take at 99.12 Correlated pairs, the pairs that makes out the basket, Euro US Dollar, Euro JPY and the Euro Pound, if you look at them. 4 hour tells us too long, daily tells us too long, we closed 111 pips higher than the opening of the previous week. So if we stick to the 4 hour chart, we flip from the bottom to the top, then we've got a zone starting at 12.02, coming down to 11.51. Areas where I will keep my eye on, 12.26, which is the main weekly pivot point. 55 at 11.81 for support areas to go long profit take areas 13.44 which is last week's high area and 13.93 once price get to 13.93 I will really look to take counter shorts on that while the 55 holds at 11.81 the buyers will be to look for longs that's the main trend guys if that break for some reason next line of in the sand will be 11.08 these EMAs will move to the upside, lots of EMAs, that's two 200 EMAs, the daily and the 400, 200 EMA. So if this 55 breaks for some reason, keep an eye on 11.08. If you look at the Euro JPY daily chart, I'm sitting on my hands with this pair guys. The 4 hours mix daily tells us to short, we close 156 pips lower than the opening. But if we look at the daily chart, it looks like we might be trapped in a triangle. So we need to to wait for a triangle breakout on this one. Euro pound 4 hour chart. 4 hour tells us too long, daily tells us too long. Last week we closed 53 pips higher than the opening. So if we stick to that, we flip the 4 hour chart from the bottom to the top. We've got a zone starting at 7823, coming down to 779. Areas where I will keep my eyes on 7814, which is the weekly main pivot point, the 55 at 7807 possible longs we need solid support there possible profit take area 7893 that was the last week's high area as well once price get to 7893 and the psychological level of 7900 i will relook really for counter shorts while the 55 volts bias is too long guys remember stick to with the main trend if, if you need to trading it's always better to stick with the main trend for the more experienced traders look for those counter trades saying that if the 55 breaks next line in the sand will be 7755 where I will really look to go long profit take will then be at 7807 as this 55 can be a roadblock again pound US dollar 4 hour chart last week we broke through those 200 EMAs and the 55 EMAs so the 4 hour tells us to long the daily tells us to short and we close 79 pips higher than the opening price I'm going to stick with the 4 hour and look for those long guys. The pound had a big hammering and uh, while this 200 EMA holds on the 4 hour, the bias can be too long. So if we stick to the 4 hour chart, we flip from the bottom to the top, then we've got a zone starting at 4283 coming down to 4169. Areas to keep our eye on, we are at a weekly pivot point, 4341. So keep your eye on that for possible roadblock. The 55 at 4318. And the main area for me, 4287, which is the 50% FIP. It's also the 200 EMA. And if you look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance areas. 
possible counter trades. I will only relook once we get to 4, 5, 11, 4, 6, 26 to take a possible counter short. If you look at the pound JPY, correlated 4 hour chart. Yeah, guys, the 4 hour tells us to short and the daily tells us to short. We close 241 pips lower than the opening price. Okay. This pair is correlated with the pound US dollar. On the pound US dollar, this line in the sand is big for me. 4287. If that holds and we turn around, then the pound JPY can follow and we can go into the potential trading zone and then I will relook to short from 162.67 and not from 161.58. The reason for that is I'm expecting a pullback or not a pullback. Support on this one pound US dollar then maybe a rally back up again so this one will follow and we will go into the trading zone so the line in the sand 162.67 Aussie US dollar 4 hour chart last week we closed only 3, 33 pips higher 4 hour tells us long daily tells us to long so if we stick to that we flip from the bottom to the top we've got a zone 7550 coming down to 7484 I will keep an eye on 7566 7.555 to long this pair. We need solid support at that level. Clear confirmation to long. Possible profit take 7.683, which is last week's high area. Double 7.14, which is the weekly pivot point where I will relook really look to short this pair. Then remember that will be a counter trade. Aussie JPY. If we look at the four-hour chart here, guys, we are going sideways. We're hanging around 84.97 the weekly main pivot point we've got a weekly pivot point at 8605 holding hands with a daily 200 EMA and we've got a weekly support pivot point at 83.54 with a 4 hour 200 EMA and a 55 so by the looks of it we might be ranging between these two levels of possible shorts from 8605 possible longs from 83.54 Use dollar JPY 4 hour chart. Last week we had a big drop. We closed 252 pips lower than the opening. So we stick on the 4 hour. We flip from the high to the low. Then we've got a zone starting at 112.59, coming up to 113.25. Areas to keep our eye on is the 50% FIP coming in at 12.59. Where the 55 is, if we look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance, the boiling band is there, so keep our eye on that level. Possible counter shorts, or ca counter longs rather, at 110.03, I need solid support there, it's a psychological level, it's a weekly pivot point for possible counter longs. Use dollar cat, 4 hour chart, last week we closed 189 pips lower than the opening, so if we honor that, 4 hour tells us to short, daily tells us to short, we honor that on the 4 hour, we flip from last week's high to the low we made, then we've got a zone starting at 3165, going up to 3286, areas to keep our eye on, weekly pivot point at 3125, but I will prefer if we can get to 3179, which is the 55 EMA, even as high as 3226, if you look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance, where I will relook short this pair. Possible counter longs 2845 with solid support there at that weekly pivot po point before I will consider taking a counter long. US dollar index last week we closed 110 pips lower than the opening. 4 hour looks short. Daily tells us to short if we flip from on the 4 hour then from the high of last week to the low. We've got a zone starting at 95 what's that? 95 82 going up to 96.44 areas where I will keep my eyes on we've got a 53 54 EMA coming in at 95.58 it's the weekly main pivot point but I will prefer if we can get to the 55 EMA at 95.90 for that short if we for some re reason do break to the upside next line will be 96.44 these EMAs will move down later in the week, so keep an eye if we do break to 55 for some reason to the upside. 96.44 will be the next area where I'll consider taking shorts then. Well, that's me for the week, guys. As I said, I will try and do a uh, catch-up movie for you on Friday. I can't promise anything. The internet is 
slower than a drunk tortoise on uh, the farm so it might be just a write-up and I do ask all the senior members here at Forex Mentor Pro please guys help me out this upcoming week in the forum help the new guys and uh, post and it's not only me that's posting in the forum I ask you guys to post your charts and show those earth and sky trading zones and upcoming trades next week um, unfortunately I'll be in the Aru National Park no internet connection there so I can't do a Tuesday uh, write up for you guys but I will be back next Friday um, with that catch up video and see how you guys did for the week have an awesome one, cheers